What up y'all, it's Kevin Frizzard once again, and in this video I'm going to show you some more of, well, I don't know if I showed these yet, or in uh, my other videos that I uploaded last summer, um, as far as my CD collection goes, what I have, but um, I figured since this is better quality, as opposed to this turd that I used uh, last time to do these videos, uh, I figured I'd reach in this box, show you what I have, talk about them, tell you when I got them, how I got them, blah blah blah, etc. So starting right here, oh man, I've had this CD since I was like, shit, probably, I think I got this when I was like 12. Repulsive Conception, Broken Hope. There's the back, back when uh, Joe was still alive, rest in peace. Can't remember what happened to him. I think it was suicide or something like that. Uh, let's see the condition of this sucker, because it... It's not in too bad a shape considering how many times I've borrowed this to my cousin and we kind of went back and forth. We were listening to this CD a lot back in the day. But yeah, it's another cool picture right there. Shows the band. Uh, yeah, very, very cool CD. Uh, my cousin actually, for some reason, gave me this CD. I don't know why he did. Uh, but you guys all know this one. It's the censored version of Tomb of the Mutilated Cannibal Corpse. And that's when they had Mr. Bob Rousset in the band. And of course, you know, Chris Barnes, uh, Jack Owen. Yeah, it's a classic. It's one of their best. This is a uh, demo, I think this was from a uh, band from Japan called uh, Disconformity. I don't even know if they're still around. Far East Brutality. I think I got this from uh, when I was still playing in Gut Rot with um, John. He actually had a copy of this and gave me one. That or we got it from a, a show, a local show or something. Which I can't quite remember, that was a while ago. Actually, there's another CD in here, I think. Uh, I don't even know what that is. That blank CD. Oh, speaking of Gut Rat, here's uh, the demo. The Gut Rat demo. I wasn't in the band yet at the time, but it's got two tracks on it. Not very many of those to find. Pretty cool. Uh, Horror of Horrors, Sounds of Eerie. I liked this band back in the day. I think I got another one of their releases in here too. Uh, this is a classic Morbid Angel, Blessed Are the Sick. Very, very cool. Now this is a band that um, they split up back in, I want to say like 05, 06, something like that. This is a band that was from Belgium uh, called Prejudice. This is uh, the album Reality. You guys can find um, the release that came after this. It was called Dominion of Chaos. Fucking crushing stuff. I have the whole CD on my uh, on my computer. It's fucking badass. Yeah, but if you guys can find that, it it was like ahead of its time. I mean, the drummer was that was before like the double strokes and all that. But this guy was going almost as fast as that with single strokes. It was pretty sweet. And those guys were just amazing guitarists too. Really, really intricate stuff. Uh, Divine Empire, Redemption. This was back in like 97 when, you know, a couple of guys from Malevolent uh, split and decided to form that band. And that was actually one of the first death metal uh, bands that I saw live. That was back in, uh, oh boy, it was 2003 with, um, they were with Skinless, Misery Index, Mutilated, local band that we used to share the practice room with when I was still in Gut Rot. And who else was there? Uh, oh, of course, Dying Fetus. Yeah. All, everybody that I met was cool as fuck at that show. Awesome. Awesome, awesome stuff. And Hammer Smash Face. Uh, I think this... When did I get this? I don't even know if this plays anymore. I remember having it. Yep, it has a shitload of scratches on it. But uh, it, was, it was pretty hard to convince my mom to buy this for me. And then uh, shortly after... After I got this, this was when Harmony House was still open. You guys remember the CD store, Harmony House? God damn, a long time ago. Uh, 
shortly after I got that, that's when Vile came out, and I freaking God, I was like trying to convince my mom for about a half hour to sort to buy that for me. <laughs> I can only imagine, well, like, I can't even remember, like, the possibility, like, of, like, how she felt when she went up to the counter with the fucking cover of that. Yeah, but I'm buying this for my son. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, Cryptopsy, and then you'll beg. I don't really like this album. I don't know what it is. I don't like the vocals. I don't I, to be honest with you I never liked any of Cryptopsy's uh, vocalists just never did anything for me but this album uh, it's like very forgettable for me I didn't really like it at all that's why it's in this box and this I was on I played on this we didn't have much time to record it but that's kind of why it sounds the way it does but this was the, the split CD with dysentery gut rot Nasty cover. Can't remember if we, uh, yeah, it was just a split with uh, dysentery. And this is uh, this is an original press um, of dehumanized prophecies foretold. Yep, Pathos Productions. Fucking killer band, killer killer band. Flesh grind, the seeds of, of abysmal torment. Didn't get to, didn't get into that one too much, but um, I think the album after that I liked pretty much. And then I got the censored version of Cannibal Corpse: The Wretched Spawn in here. Bonus DVD. Watch that with my dad. My dad was like freaking out about uh. Just how crazy of a guitar player Pat is, and Alex Webster being able to follow along all the crazy riffs that Pat writes. And Pat, I hope you're doing well, buddy. We miss you. Cystic Dysentery Demo 2003. I don't remember how I got this. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Not too sure on that one. I've had this CD for a long time too, probably since I was 10 years old. Napalm Death, Fear, Emptiness, Despair. Uh, hey Plow, everybody dies. Larry Hawk, rest in peace. He was the drummer on this album. This is some good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Yeah, some of these are in the box. I got, you know, I got the CD and CDs in my booklet in my truck, and uh, some of these are, you know, just kind of chilling in here. They don't get listened to. Um, Level and Creation War Cult definitely gets listened to. Love Malevolent Creation, always did, always will. Torture Crypt, Rotted Remnants. Pick that up at a local. Uh, CD slash cassette store back in the day too. These were just like bands that I would find, you know, when you go through these, you always see uh, special thanks to the following bands and you just kind of start going through way, way before internet and, you know, access to some of these magazines. Even like uh, magazines like Metal Maniacs and stuff was hard to come by. Even, you know, you got lucky if you found it at a grocery store or, or some kind of other store. And when you saw it, you like flipped out and you got the adrenaline rush. Oh my God, Metal Maniacs. And uh, yeah, you'd pick out different names of bands and check them out and hope for the best. It was usually the game that we played back in the day, finding new bands, new stuff to listen to. And then this was, um, yeah, speaking of magazines, this was a local magazine in my area. It was called Epitaph Magazine. So I kind of just, I remember I cut part of the magazine out and I kind of made like a CD case out of it uh, this bright yellow color it had uh, let's see I'll name off some of the bands and I actually remember three of the bands on this CD like one or two of the members were in the same pan so it's kind of weird Black and Earth, Brutal Reality Creation's Demise Demogorgon Effigy 500 Feet of Pipe, Harm's Way uh, L-O-B-I, don't know what that stands for, Lucifixion, Noctophilia, 
powertrain, perpetual hype engine, public outery. She's so huge. 66 stitches and a band called Sounds Like. Interesting. Yeah, I even made uh it's for brutal reality. That was like the inlay case that I that I just made myself. Me being the kid I was, being just a huge fan of metal. Here's another Horror of Horrors album. Fangs Breaking the Skin. I think this came after Sounds of Eerie. These guys weren't really technical or anything. It just um, Back then, for its time, it was really, really enjoyable. I thought the drummer put a lot of energy into his playing, and they all did. It was, it was pretty good stuff. Uh, Grave Hating Life. Didn't listen to this one too, too much. And we have the Slipknot Digipack. This had um, this had some demos on it. Yeah, it had Interloper, Despise. I think Despise turned into Purity. Um, it had uh, had me inside instead of Purity. But yeah. And here's another Slipknot. This is the one that has Purity on it. That was where it didn't have the logo up top here and in the side. Yeah, so this one had Purity on it. Which is... it's in there somewhere. I can't quite focus. And then, I don't know why, but this kind of reminds me of something from Silent Hill, like the Nurses or Pyramid Head or something. Yeah, it's pretty cool looking. And we have Cannibal Corpse Live Cannibalism. Freaking 18 songs on this beast. Cool stuff, man. Cool, cool, cool. Huh. Interesting, because I did go through a little bit of a new metal phase too, but I was still listening to death metal at the same time, but Soulfly's uh, debut album. And then all these, I think, are just, uh, yeah, this is all DVD-R stuff. This isn't even any music. Yeah, that's it. I'll shut up now. So, hope you guys like this video. There's going to be more stuff on the way as far as my covers go and all that good stuff. And if you like the video, if you like the channel, give it a thumbs up and keep checking back for more uploads. I appreciate you guys watching. Peace! All right, I guess I'm not done talking. This is part two of my CD collection. I just noticed I got my CD case right here. I don't have all of them I got. And all the main stuff that I've been listening to is in my truck, obviously, because I'm listening to it right now. But um, there's stuff in here that, you know, I'm kind of playing through as well. So I might as well just give this an update since that third camera, shitty quality, and this is a lot better. You guys can... Uh, Get a little better perspective on what I got in here, like what I'm listening to, what I do listen to. And I'll talk about them. You guys know that one, Morbid Angel Gateways to Annihilation, crushing as fuck. Uh, Origin Entity, this is just, uh, you know, got it off of Amazon and put it on a CD. Which would be quite a few of these. This one I got, uh, this is old. King of all kings, hate eternal. Fuck, that's one of the most crushing fucking albums ever. Holy shit. Uh, Vile, Stench of the Deceased. This was my favorite Vile album by far. And I hand drew the logo myself. Because it's fun. Uh, we got... And this pan, God, I wish they were still together. They were so fucking awesome. And they were way ahead of their time. And kind of ahead of everybody and just didn't even realize it. You guys remember Oppressor from back in the day? Solstice of Oppression, Elements of Corrosion. That band right there, wow. Incredibly talented. Just very, very, um, very original kind of stuff. You guys never heard Oppressor? Check them out. They're f fucking killer, man. 
I think uh, half the band, or maybe even three quarters of the band, they uh, they went on to form uh, the rock band Soil. I think because they just wanted uh, they wanted more opportunity as far as touring and just more popularity. Fuck that. Go back to playing Oppressor. We miss you guys. Holy shit. I'd love to have that band back. Behemoth. Demigod. One of my favorites. Apostasy. No, I don't have that in here, but the Apostasy was another pretty good one. And after that, they kind of started to get more into the black metal side, and I kind of lost interest. Uh, this is so heavy. So heavy. You guys got to have this album. Oh, my boy is an unmerciful, unmercifully beaten. Holy shit, that is crushing, crushing fucking stuff. Ah, uh, wow. Actually, um, half the members in that band were in this band right here, Origin. Antithesis. This album I don't really get into too much, so I know a lot of people hold it up high. I think it's, you know, awesome and stuff. I don't... I think it's the production that does it for me because, yeah, I mean, the drums are kind of like in the background or just they're not they're not in the mix properly. The guitars are kind of too loud. No, it's just not the right listening experience for me. And here's uh, Divine Empire Nostradamus. I picked this up at the Divine Empire show, actually. These guys freaking blew me away live. Awesome. Back when... Uh, J.P. Soares was still, yeah, they were all still together. Him and uh, Jay Blackowitz and uh, who else was in the band? Uh, what was that drummer's name? Oh, uh, fuck. I can't remember it. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank. But that's where I got that CD. J.P. Soares turned, uh, got into blues. He went and uh, formed a couple blues bands, but they're really good. Really good. Um... Trying to remember, let's see, there's JP Soares and the Red Hots. And I'm trying to remember some of the other, there was like one or two other bands. I can't think of them off the top of my head. Decapitated Organic Hallucinosis. I hope I said that right. I probably didn't. Dying Fetus, War of Attrition. Uh, da, 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 da. This is Mashuga, Chaosphere. Everybody knows Mashuga. Crazy, crazy stuff. Flesh God Apocalypse, Oracles. Oh, I love it. Decapitated Nihility. Devourment. Molesting the Decapitated. Beneath the Massacre. Uh, I can't even say that, so I ain't even going to try. And then I got a board of Global Flatline with that one. Suffocation, Despise the Sun. Awesome. Pig Destroyer, Terrifier. Yeah. I still haven't heard the new Pig Destroyer. I haven't been seeing that many good reviews. Eh, I shouldn't say that. I've seen mixed reviews. I mean, some people like the new sound. Uh, most people, like myself, prefer the old sound. Um, so I'm kind of afraid to check it out. I don't know if I'm going to really hate it or really like it. I don't know. But yeah, i got to get around to checking it out just to see what, what it's all about. Uh, dying fetus, stop at nothing. This is a pretty good band right here, Mangled. Uh, got like a cannibal corpse kind of sound to them. Pretty good though, man. Uh, Sinister, Hate, and Bastard Saints on the same CD. Fucking classic, Sinister. Wow. I remember I, I used to have... Uh, I used to have the original copy of uh, Sinister Hate. I got that from a record store. I remember how excited I was when I saw that CD. Oh my God, oh my God. You just, yeah, it was just, you felt like a kid in a freaking uh, toy store when you would see a band that you'd look and you'd find in these magazines and then you'd see it sitting right there. Buy me, buy me. Sure, I'll buy you. Deeds of Flesh of What's to Come. Then, eh, didn't like it. Fear Factory, Obsolete, this is uh, the original copy of this, and we got Cannibal Corpse Torture, this was a very, very good album, uh, we got Hate Eternal, I, dick, <coughs> trying to burp and I can't, Hate Eternal, I Monarch, this was awesome too, hey, another Fear Factory, 
demanufacture. I uh, can't remember which song. I think uh, it's Piss Christ. I think that's where you get to the CD and it's I listened to it so many times and oh I just dropped it again now so something else is gonna skip. Oh uh, but yeah that skips around a little bit because I've listened to it so much and it's been fucking passed around. Uh, Hour of Penance edition. Very very good. Sepultura. Got a rise in Beneath the Remains. Classic classic stuff. Uh, a split CD with Unsane Crisis and Assassin. Unsane Crisis is, um, they're a grind band, uh, guys from Wormed. That, I think the vocalist is on drums and you got the guitar player for Wormed. That's, that's his, uh, their grind slash grindcore band. Really, really fucking awesome. Hard to find. Morbid Angel Kingdoms Disdained. Eh, I'm not really listening to it too much. I mean... When you can actually, when you got like a good set of headphones or just like a good listening experience for that album, it is pretty freaking good, but just the mix is bad, unfortunately. I wish they would have, uh, that's the thing with Morbid Angel, you know, now we're on the Morbid Angel, and there's another Morbid Angel right there. Um, Morbid Angel's been so hit or miss over the years. Once they started getting into the, like the seven string guitar territory, a lot of muddy, like just... Yeah, like just the sound of the guitars is just like kind of not there, unfortunately. So you don't really get to hear what Trey has to offer because the uh, production is just not showing his true talent. It's just really hard to pick up on those seven string guitars. Uh, Morbid Angel Formula is Fatal to the Flesh. That's a fucking killer record. Cannibal Corpse Bloodthirst, highly, highly underrated. Badass CD. Another Cannibal Corpse, The Bleeding. This one is very awesome. So like one, of, yeah, that was the last one with Chris Barnes on it. And we got Covenant, Morbid Angel. All-time classic right there. Decapitated the Negation. Awesome was still part of the wave when they were like true death metal before they kind of started getting more into the the groove side of things i still like decapitated a little different but i still like it origin echoes of decimation oh my god yeah prejudice dominion of chaos like i like i was saying in the last video if you guys can find that album definitely check it out uh, oh, what do you know i got that same album on this cd too with dying fetus descending to depravity and we have Christian with Ageless Venomous. Fuck yeah. From start to finish, the double bass does not stop. <laughs> and it's cool. Uh, hey Eternal, the debut album. That was Conquering the Throne? Yes, it was. Yep. And then we got another Unmerciful. This was one of their latest. This came out in 2016. It is called Ravenous Impulse. Had John Longstreth on the drums. Fast as shit, heavy as shit. What more could you ask for? Fuck the facts. Desire will rot. I, I don't really get into it too much. I thought I would. Like I heard one song and I thought I'd get into it more than I actually do. So it is in this booklet, and I don't really listen to it. Um, in Veracity from Greece. I don't know what happened to that band, but God, I wish they would emerge again. In Veracity was awesome. Misery Index, I think that was, God, what was it? Discordia. Yeah, Discordia. That was on there. Eternal Suffering with Drowning in Tragedy. One of the coolest slam bands ever. And they were only around, they were very short-lived. They were only around for maybe a few years. They did, uh, they did one album, and then um, I think they released an EP or something like that, and they were they were done. But man, some of the most fun slam riffs you ever heard, and the drummer was so interesting to listen to, where he would throw his snare hits and uh, just like his cymbal work, just everything that that guy would do was just. It wasn't like super over the top or anything. It was just it was very hooky, very catchy. Um, if you guys never heard Eternal Suffering, give them a listen. They're out there on YouTube. Check them out. 
very very fun to listen to as I guess that's the biggest word I could use for them it's fun to listen to Fear Factory slow of a new machine that was awesome stuff that kind of spawned the wave of uh, new metal and bands like you know Fear Factory has a lot of influence on all the stuff that we listen to today my opinion there's always people doing Fear Factory kind of uh, picking uh, exercises and whatnot and then this is um, I will eventually get to it but I'm not quite there yet I'm gonna do it my top five favorite Slayer albums of all time for me um, Divine Intervention this was one of the first metal CDs I actually own um, I got this for my 10th birthday with a little boom box and God, I love the shit out of that album I really do I'm a little biased with it because uh, that was my first uh, actual Slayer CD, that piece of Slayer that I owned. And here's Divine Empire Redemption. I covered that in the last video, so it's in this case here. Uh, I don't know what Cattle Decapitation album this is, but I think it came out in 2012 or 2013. Oh, Monolith of Inhumanity. It says right on the CD. Dumbass. Uh, this came out in 2012 or 2013. Can't remember. Oh man! And one of the one of the last uh, Flesh God Apocalypse uh, releases that I actually listened to and enjoyed. Mafia. Awesome, awesome EP. And then we got Malevolent Creation and Cold Blood. That was with J.P. Soares. J.P. Soares was on that one. And Derek Roddy was on that one also. Yeah. The first time I heard fucking crazy double pace. Like, at that time when I heard that album, I was like, holy shit. Cannibal Corpse eating back to life and butchered at birth on the same CD. This is Beneath the Massacre's first release. I think it was an EP. It had like four songs or five songs on it. Um, this is a very good album. Mortal Decay's Forensic. This is awesome stuff, man. Check that one out for sure. I can get the damn thing back in there. There we go. Okay, then we got the Gut Rod Dysentery Split, which I covered in the last um, video. Sapergenic. My buddy's in Sapergenic. Uh, I can't remember how you pronounce the damn album title, but that's the CD. This is, of course, Nile Ithyphilic. Did I say it right? Awesome. Still, I, apparently, Nile's coming out with a new album uh, this year. I hope, man. I haven't really heard any new news about it. I just heard, I think, 2019 at some point. I just, I don't know exactly when. Uh, Gorgasm, Stab Wound Intercourse, uh, and then we got Omnipresent, Origin, whoops, hang on, let me go back a little bit, okay, Leveling Creation, The Will to Kill, uh, there it is, I've been trying to get that out. And Monstrosity, Imperial Doom, that had Corpse Grinder on it before he joined Cannibal. That was an awesome CD. And this is Malevolent Creation Doomsday X. Oh, man. Rob Barrett was on this one. And Alex Marquez was on this one. And it is the self-titled Solstice album. I remember seeing this uh, this logo. It was in an Oppressor live album I used to have, European of Oppression, and it showed Solstice being on the bill with them. I think Malevolent Creation was on it, so yeah. Um, I ended up uh, later on in life checking out Solstice, being able to. I could never find them in the stores or anything, but hey, now that we got uh, internet, we can find just about anything. 
Malevolent Creation Eternal, that was the first Malevolent Creation I ever owned and fell in love with them after I heard this. And then the second album I got was Stillborn. Stillborn's like one of my favorites and you know that gets a lot of flack for the production but it had some really really killer guitar work on it and drum work, just everything. Uh, Brett Hoffman had great vocals on it. I don't see what the what the problem is besides you know the production not being all the way there but a lot of uh, memorable moments on uh, Stillborn. I used to have that album too. Defeated Sanity, what album was that? Uh, da, 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 da. Drawing a blank. Passages into Deformity, that's what it was. Hideous Divinity's debut album, Obedience Rising. Another band you guys should check out if you haven't is Hideous Divinity. They definitely deserve your attention. Um, they're out of, I think they're out of Italy. So yeah, they got um, they got an X Hour of Penance member. And then they have, I can't remember um, what the former other bands were or some of the other members that are in that band now, but definitely give them a listen. They're fucking crushing. The Kennedy Veal, Malevolent Creation of Ten Commandments. Flesh Got Apocalypse Mafia again on a burn CD and then another Unsane Crisis split that was like their first uh, split they actually did two of them and then I got the uh, EP of Wormed when that came out after came out at some time between 2013 and I want to say 07, 08 yeah that came out after Planisferium I think that album was called Worm's another kick-ass band you guys gotta check out. It's uh, that outer space kind of sound. It's crazy shit. But yeah, that's what I got so far. And um, hopefully you guys got a little bit out of this video. Hopefully you liked it. And keep checking back. As always, I got more stuff on the way. I got Slayer. I got. I want to do some more Metallica. I want to do some of the thrash kind of stuff. And then I'm going to get to some of my music. Because I got a lot to share with you guys as far as what I wrote. So... Uh, keep checking back, and I appreciate you guys, as always, coming to check out my channel. You guys have a good day. Take care.